New game. Dad? Aren't you sleeping yet? It's time for bed, honey. Dad, I can't sleep. Can you tell me a bedtime story? All right. What do you want to hear? Something... something about an adventure. Hmm. Whatever. I think I know just the thing. When I was your age, my biggest dream was to... Dude, NFD, speaking of you didn't actually read the rules, I simplified the crap out of all the text that's under my stream last night. Like, I deleted 90% of it. And, like, simplified every text box down to, like, one or two lines. Your grandmother. She had tried to keep me from going, but I wanted to see see if Fred was home yet from his latest adventure. I had visited Uncle Fred's house countless of times, but in the locker, which usually was closed, I found something I hadn't seen before. It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used, but smaller in size. Curiosity got the better of me, and I tried it on. It fit like it had been custom made for me. The most <laughs> mysterious room of my uncle's house was the observatory. There he kept his newest experiments, and right now it held a pad used for disposing of garbage. Wheaton's Law. Then you would have to explain what Wheaton's Law is. But I definitely agree with that. Wheaton's Law being don't be a douche for everybody that doesn't know. I'd ended with a crash, but thanks to the suit, I wasn't hurt. I had no idea where the pad had taken me, but back then, I didn't care so much about where I was going or how okay. I get home. Let's just start off bad and become I'm great sure that when it counts. Had been here before me. Someone had built these bridges and carved these symbols, but who? Where were they now? Super slow. Yay, that jump was perfectly angled. The power core I found activated the suit's grappling device when I picked it up. It must have been left here by my uncle. So close to getting the fast cycle again. Damn. Like a second late. Enjoy the full screen. <laughs> uh, troll thoughts. 
I just thought, like, what if I turned on my webcam on full screen with my lights on and just got real close to the webcam, smiling, like, best slasher smile that I could possibly do, just to freak Saberblade the fuck out? Fothington, quiet down. Or, you don't want this. Sorry, I forgot what I wrote. Ah. Slow. Ah, chatting on mobile. Okay. That works. Twitch apps are nice. Dude, I don't know why I can't grab that rock consistently. It's hard. Um. Okay, whatever. I'll take it. That feel when probably gold. Not behind, though. <clears throat> Jesus. That's ridiculous, Wellington. Hello. Who are you? Also, why seven You're monitors? Not why not here. a reasonable number like wow. six you or look nine? Just like Fred, but smaller. And or four like I have. Because <laughs> I have a I useless Steam window on open on one, the fast four stream on another one, What's the game on? and both chats for myself and the fast fours on one another. One Splits, OBS, really? and a bunch of other extraneous windows on the I'm last Madeline. one, and the Skype. Others call me Mad Maddie sometimes. I don't know why, really, but you can call me Maddie. You've never been to the village, right? Let's meet over there in the square. I'll show you around. Is that a new I bet shirt? You can get yes. Easily with your suit thing. I'm actually not wearing so, a new shirt. I'll see you there. I'm wearing one of my Binding of Isaac shirts. I couldn't believe it. An underground village inhabited by frog people, or more like salamanders. <laughs> yeah, I got. F I have four monitors across two PCs, and they're both gaming PCs. I just don't really use the other one as anything but like a glorified jukebox. <laughs> Gotta live the struggle. <laughs> Oh, all right, let's go. It looked like most of the shacks in the village were built out of trash. Trash from our world. Oh God, I thought I got stuck for a second. After all, a garbage disposal all right. pad. I five on a cardboard box. Uh, no. Actually, nothing's running Android now. Because I got tired of my computer not being able to run, like, anything actually useful. So I just reinstalled Windows on my spare PC. First world struggle. 
This should be gold. Because that was really, really smooth. Yeah. It's gold. Mm -hmm. Darkness swept over me as I passed the glittering lights in the village behind me and headed for the ominous shadows of the chasms. Minus 45. As I entered the chasms, it struck me how much darker it was in there. The shadows were black as ink, and although I tried not to be afraid, I couldn't help but shiver. Was it the darkness that frightened the villagers as well, or was it something else? <clears throat> Also failed this a million times when I just ran it for the marathon. Okay. First try. Um, I saw one video where the fling might be super useful in the ice caves, but, um, like, you actually have to have a low frame rate to do really, really high flings. Seemingly bottomless you actually can't do it with 60 FPS. The, the further we got. Like, that's actual problems for this game in particular. I was really glad that I wasn't alone. What was that? I had never heard a creature sounding as terrifying. And I imagined it wouldn't be happy about visitors. need to touch the ground because I didn't do that when I ran. Whoa. Okay. Uh. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I'll take it. Oh god, please- okay. <laughs> I was gonna be mad if this counted as me moving. This little freaking out that I'm doing. Nothing could stand in our way of 
of finding Fred. Minus two minutes. Oh, another one. This one says, Welcome home. Whoa. This is it. This is where the Strays built their village. And what a beautiful place they chose. Just look at the sky. <clears throat> it is so big. Lolling at spag rag. Gross. of floating rock, but here they were much bigger. Some were big enough to fit whole villages. How was this possible? Maybe it had to do with the crystals <laughs> that seemed to be everywhere. I'm glad I could make you laugh even more. If the legends were true, the um, civilization okay, was younger than the village. Yet, they were making great progress. They invented crystal-powered machines, produced their own fabrics, and built houses out of bricks and stone. It was like a civilization was forming before my eyes. Seriously, a tree screwed me over. What? Game, please. Hey, let's play a game. I bet that you can't get through this part without using the grapple device. <laughs> Told you you couldn't do it. Seriously, NFT? It was that funny? Was it really? What? Oh, Touch the ground. The boots. Um. Look, couldn't you wear those? Why can I not? Upgrade your suit. What the those fuck? Pretty powerful, right? What the fuck? Seriously? Uh. I went over the tiny little cutscene trigger that's apparently required to get the boots. Okay. Edition, the suit felt at what? Twenty percent cooler. Sweet. Now you gotta try them out. Ridiculous. <laughs> Please fix awesome. this, Gone North Games. It I honestly was thought it was awesome. soft locked right there and was gonna be really mad. Feeling bursting through the air like a bullet. So fast that my eyes watered and my belly was full of butterflies. Never fully in control, but still feeling like the coolest kid in the universe. <laughs> I guess I just accepted <laughs> it. Yeah, let's see if you can get through this part in a way where we both will probably die. No, you couldn't do that? Well, shit, we're fucked now. We're gonna die. Gotta work for my rainbow dash. I'd love to do stuff like this with crystals. Just think of the possibilities. Whole machines are powered by them. I almost can't believe it.
A great, icy mountain loomed before me, and I felt a chill run down my spine. <clears throat> Oh god. No. Okay. I hate these fans, man. They are the worst. Hmm. I feel like the boots might not even be necessary right there. If you got like perfect momentum off of that. Seen any people around yet? But ahead of us lay what looked like a proper town. The strays from Maddie's stories. I could imagine how she must have longed to meet them all her life. And now, here they were. silent for a while <laughs> personalization of the dad's meth addiction that's why there was a breaking bad reference in this show and that's why everything runs on blue crystals it all makes sense now Fothington. holy shit are you a wizard <laughs> I also want to, well, That's why she stays here too. Maybe it's strange, but I just feel like these so she can do more meth. Me for who I am. Even though this boat has literally buckets of crystal. And help you find Fred. I don't know what I want. I told Madeline that I would accept whatever choice she made. I just never thought about it until now that maybe. Maybe it wasn't Fred. I was <laughs> Dude, but I Fred out. is in a cave, just like almost just made of meth. Somewhere to be free. And I know that if anyone can find Fred, it's you. If you meet him, when you meet him, tell him to come see me, okay? I promise. See, now I'm ahead of Thank where you. my run was I'm on the marathon. And it won't be the same without you around. Like, I'm gonna get into the ice caves at like 24 minutes. I said goodbye to Maddie, and I had a feeling that this was the last time I'd see her. But even in this sad moment, I was happy, happy for her. She had found a place where she belonged. I don't care There was a about Maddie. in the air that reminded me of the hot summer nights back home. But as the sun was setting, I could feel the chill creeping up on me. And the path we were traveling on seemed to Maddie Senpai. The ice age. Notice me. Was coming. Oh god. No. For a second I thought I just flung off of Maddie. Jesus. Into the caves again. And now it was just me. Alone in these cold, barren halls of ice. But Fred had been here. And now I could feel it. I was getting close. Something wasn't right. The grapple device's energy beam was somehow reflected off of the ice. 
and I couldn't get a grip. I had to look for areas where the ice was not so thick. This was going to be a challenge. Dude, I just can't get a run. Give me the meth. Give me the crystals. This run is solid. Apart from that one mistake right at the beginning of the ice caves, uh, this is actually perfect. people worth of meth, dude? <clears throat> Do you have any idea what prices are like? Because I don't. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, that was a waste of time, but... That's actually gonna be a little time saver. fire was still smoldering, and I could faintly pick up the smell of the aftershave he always used. I was closing in on him. I could feel it. He had left some tools behind that I could use to repair my boots. That should do it. Good as new. You could still see signs of what this place had once been. Something not unlike the caves where the village lay. The Ice Age must have come suddenly, washing over it like a freezing tsunami. Hmm. Now it lay desolated, haunting Going anyone who dared yep. visit with falling stalactites, it worked. sharp icicles, and its bottomless depths. Saving even more time. Light bullshit optimizations. 
that shouldn't happen. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Where the hell was this run? Like, 40, 50 minutes ago. <laughs> This is what the run should have it was been. Dark all around me, but there was a light at the end of the tunnel. <clears throat> I don't know if it'll be sub 35, but it is not possible for me to not world record at this point. Look at all the meth. Look I at the meth cave. I suit in his workshop, and that I came looking for him. <sighs> it's okay. At least I get to go and post in their chat and be like, "Yo, just got the run I should have had on stream." Frankerzy, 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 and that I had promised to ask him if he would go see her there. Oh, what's up, Dwago? Yeah, this time is actually good. Some mad fire. Shout outs to Bone Mom. <laughs> just as well. I don't trust this pad for more than one ride anyway. You need that ride. I didn't want to go home. And I asked if I could stay with him and Maddie instead. Oh man. As much as I enjoy having you here. I think it's gonna be like around thirty six. Explore the world on your own. Have your own adventures. Hi. Reluctantly agreed to go home. Let's see. The last split is a minute and a half. Damn. I will miss you too. But I'm sure you'll do phenomenal on your own. Yo, Fred, so shut up. Press the button. Cool. No, not sub 35. It's gonna be like 3606. Or 35. 3530 or something. The end. No. Good night, sweetie. Wait, Dad. Does that mean Fred is still there? Who knows? 
That was the last time I saw him. Kind of sad I got so close to the run in the marathon because I could have just uploaded the thing or the previous run. Instead, I have to actually highlight the Maddie thing before. Today, I stepped into the lobby of your house for the last time. My daughter asked me to tell her about an adventure. And I came to oh shit, I never split your house ice cap zone. Like I have no idea how far I'm ahead. Years ago. Oh god. After you'd gone, I was sure I don't get to behold the ridiculous gold, gold split of ice cap but zone. Just Damn it. Cleaned up. We made you a small memorial. For a while, I came here every day, just like I used to. Sometimes, I could even faintly hear your voice calling from the observatory. Asking me <laughs> to get you this tool or that. I never told my mother about that day. I don't think she would have believed me. Can I believe it? Oh. After all these years. 3537. Nice. <clears throat> Dude, nice. Sub-35 is definitely a thing. Without ridiculous IL strats, though, I don't know about Sub-30. Thanks to you, I have found an even greater adventure. Thank you. Love. That's a world record. <laughs> it's snowing cocaine. That's all I wanted to do for this stream. So, go to the Fast Force Marathon and just hang out. You don't even need to chat, just lurk. But yeah.